it's also snowing outside and we don't want that what is going on guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is gorilla and this is makeup adventures with gabby today i'm gonna be filming a everyday type of look look where you can wear it to work you could wear it when you're just out having fun with friends if you're just literally just going to the grocery store and you just want to look good this is the look for that it's very simple i know that's kind of not the right time to film something like this because like it's not like we can go outside right now we are in quarantine all of us we are on this together we're all on this together but I just thought that even now, maybe it's the time for you guys to practice and, and do this like at home. And like that, once we get back to a normal time, you can do this outside. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. And I'm in my PJs and I'm doing this in the morning before I go to work, which is in my kitchen. I'm working from home. So without further ado, let's get right into the makeup. So I wasn't going to film how I did my eyebrows because again I still want to do that one like I was gonna say episode but not episode but that one video can't speak still having my coffee where I just talk about my eyebrows but I'm still gonna show you how I do like more my natural eyebrows and um, I hope you guys like it oh, look, this is like in the way just let me know in the comments below I'm trying to find like one that's a little bit shorter and less like bulky and for my eyebrows I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Balmy Dip Brow in the shade medium brown this is my favorite product cream product for my eyebrows and I'm just taking that with an angled brush like this and I brush my hairs up and I like to dab it onto the cap because it's not an intense look I don't want it to be too dark and this can become really dark and i'm just starting to fill the eyebrows i'm not necessarily giving them a complete shape because it's an everyday look it's more natural so we're just filling in where we see that we need my brush and now we're going to do the other eyebrow my left eyebrow is always different than my right eyebrow i've been trying to like make it grow so i can shape them correctly I can't really go like anywhere right now because everything's closed. I live on the Quebec side and yesterday they closed all the malls and salon like beauty salons and everything. So at least most of them are closed. They should be closed, okay? I guess I can clean my brushes today. I have uh, some pretty exciting videos coming up and I'm really excited about them. All right, so that's what we're gonna do with the eyebrows and then now we're gonna go in with concealer and we're gonna somewhat shape the eyebrows. I do this with any type of look, even if my eyebrows, like if I do more of an intense eyebrow or not. I'm taking the Cover FX Powder, uh, Power Play Concealer in the shade G Medium 3 and I am going to like shape my the bottom of my eyebrow. So I like to start in the middle and just follow my natural shape and I do this with any type of eyebrow look that I want to do and now I go in with my applicator oh I need to be right back just blending that out I'm gonna set that with oh we can set it with the uh, eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna use so I'm gonna be using the beauty bakery bakery Beauty Bakery proof is in the pudding eyeshadow palette. It looks like this from the outside. It looks like this from the inside. Uh, actually, my best friend and I gave me this for my birthday and Christmas. So we're going to be using it. I've used it a couple of times and I love it. We're going to take the shade Nana Pudding, which is this one here. And that's just going to be like we're going to set our eyes with that one. And I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and just that concealer now with another blending brush I'm taking this one over here from Sephora I'm going to take the shade bread pudding which is this shade over here and that's gonna be our transition shade we're just gonna be using three shades in this palette so this is the first one and that's gonna go in our crease and this everyday look it's really like it's really simple very neutral and it matches with anything you're wearing and you could bring like it could be a day look 
but it also can be a night look if you really want to intensify the look. Maybe that'll be another video that I can do, like a day to night look. I'm just blending it, more harsh lines, with an angled brush that I have to clean. I'm gonna be taking the shade Warm Cocoa, which is like, it's kind of like a deep brown, like a burgundy brown. I don't know how to explain it. I'm gonna keep this blending brush close. I'm just gonna put this on my outer corner. And the shades are very pigmented and I'm gonna start blending right away. I will probably go with one more layer and that's just because my everyday look, I like it a little bit more on the like smoky side and that's just me like a smoke smoke smoky a soft smoky 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 soft smoky how can we put that together irrelevant we're gonna do the same on the other side and like i said this is a look that matches pretty much with everything anything that you wear i'm really aggressive when it comes to blending you guys should follow me on TikTok. Now, you can use any shade that you want. I think I'm gonna go with Almond Jelly, this one over here. And I'm just gonna take that on my finger. And I'm gonna put that on my crease. Not on my crease, on my lid. Why did I choose this one? I just kinda like, to me, going a little bit darker on a natural look like or like the shades being a little bit darker just makes it like a little bit more edgy I'm gonna take the angled brush that we were using earlier and I'm just gonna blend that shade together with the sparkly so that's it for the eyeshadow and now for eyeliner I'm gonna be using the NYX NYX retractable eyeliner in the shade brown it looks like this and i'm gonna use this for my my lash line and as well as my eyeliner so when i do my eyeliner with this type of crayon i went my eye like this oh and I just trace my eye line. And this just help me, helps me make the eyeliner a little bit more even. Then once I do that, I go without, like without squinting my eye and just going to the outer side so my eyes can seem a little bit open and a little bit wider as well. Then we're gonna add mascara at the end of this. So uh, now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. For primer, I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base, not base, concealer. Not concealer, primer. Uh, this is, I recently purchased this primer. I'm still kind of testing it out. A few times I worn it, it was really good. We're going to put a pump and a half. And then we're going to put it all over the face. I'm going to add a little bit more to I feel like they always say like, oh, you just need like a pump and a half. And then you actually do that and you're like, this is not enough, you know? And then for this look, we actually just need concealer. And this is what I like about like a type of everyday. And I haven't really been using foundation lately unless I'm filming videos or I really feel like my skin, I want to hide my skin, you know? Um, so I'm going to be taking the same concealer I used to prime my eyes. This is the Cover FX the power play in the shade G medium 3 and it's really important that your concealer matches your skin tone a lot of times we see on Instagram and on YouTube even and I do it sometimes when I really want to have like a very like intense full glam full face of makeup look I do wear like a concealer that's a shade lighter than my skin tone like one shade and that just makes like the face look really like snatched and like you know it brings out the brightness but for this look we want to look natural we don't want to add any more uh, like brightness more than we should so your concealer should match your face uh, well your your shade you know like your your face shape skin tone is what I'm talking about so this actually matches me perfectly you're gonna need a little bit of it depending on the concealer that you use a little bit goes a long way 
this one goes a long way with just a little bit. So I'm gonna dab it under my eyes. I'm gonna do a one, two, three type of thing. And if I do think that I need more, I will go with more. And I'm gonna do my forehead, like so, my nose, my chin, and any other like place that I want to hide. Apparently I'm breaking out a lot today. What is going on? I'm gonna leave this on the side and we're just gonna go ahead and blend everything with a wet beauty blender or beauty sponge. This is a real technique one. Real technique, technique. And this is just gonna help to look a little bit more rested, you know? Like we don't wanna look like we woke up at like 5 a.m. to do our makeup. We wanna look like we woke up at 6 a.m. if you work at 7.30 and you just did your makeup in like 15 minutes. That's what we want with this look. And this is actually really good for your skin too because you're letting it breathe. If you wear foundation often, your clogs can get like, your clogs, your pores can get clogged. If you are a little bit more advanced in this whole makeup industry or makeup game, you can do some cream contour with this. I find that that helps a lot with this type of look. But we're gonna keep it simple and we're just gonna do bronzer. So right now we can set our face. So I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set it with the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Setting Powder by NYX. This is in the shade medium. And for this, I'm gonna use the same beauty sponge to set my face. And always dab, don't drag. So before we continue on, we're gonna finish our eyes and we're gonna take our palette. We're gonna take our a little flat brush. I'm gonna take this one over here. It's kind of like a fluffy flat brush. And I'm gonna take the first shade that we took, which was bird, bird, bear, can't speak, bread pudding. How do I get bird from bird to bread to whatever it is that I was saying? just taking that shade and we're gonna put it underneath our well on our lower lash line with that same brush we're gonna take the warm cocoa shade and we're gonna focus it on our outer corner and once we don't have a lot of product left we're going to bring it into our inner corner and yeah I'm gonna use the shade the shade spice caramel for my inner corner and for my brow bone highlights And I like to bring the inner corner shade into my lower lash line. I think I've said it in a couple of videos that I find that it just brightens up the look a little bit more. That's that's the the eyes. So now we're gonna take our bronzer. I'm gonna use the butter bronzer from Fish Physicians Formula. This is in the shade Sun Sun Kiss, and that's the perfect shade for me. Taking it in a big fluffy brush, just. Doing our normal, you know, rounds of bronzer. So our cheekbones, our forehead, our double chin. Never forget the double chin. And now we're gonna go with blush. And I'm gonna take this little palette from Jouer. And it's called the Rose Gold Blush Duo. And this side just fell all over my desk. Really fine because like I don't really use, I didn't really use that shade at all. Like it was too pale for me. Anyways, I'm taking this and I'm gonna take this shade, this shade over here, which is called Mary Gold. And that's gonna be my blush. I do like to put blush on my nose. And after I put blush, I do like to go with like one more layer of bronzer just to kind of like blend everything together, especially on my cheekbones. For my highlight, I'm going to be using this Rachel Loves Pixie palette. I love this palette. It's one of my favorite purchases. It's clearly very dirty. And it looks like this from the inside. I love it. It's so good. Highlights are so pigmented. Everything just works out well together. Taking my highlight brush, and I'm going to take the shade T, which is this shade over here. This highlight is just perfect, you know? Like, we just love a highlight that highlights blindingly 
I also really love the nose highlight. Like, look at that. I can't. Moving on. <laughs> We're gonna be curling our eyelashes, or I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. You can curl your eyelashes if you want. And I'm gonna take my favorite mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm just gonna put a layer or two of it. We're gonna let that dry for lips. I'm gonna be taking this NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Brunch. And it's like a pink nude shade. What I like to do on natural, more natural days, I just like dab it everywhere. Not necessarily it being perfect. This is really just to like give a little bit more of a tone to my lips and then go in with my finger and basically blending it all together and just, you know, just gives me a little bit more of that pinkish tone and for setting spray i'm going to be using the nyx clearly i really like nyx lately so i'm going to take this this setting spray over here which is the matte finish and all right guys so this is the final look i really hope you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to subscribe i have to remember to say this at the beginning of the video because not a lot of people make it to the end so note to self don't forget to say subscribe at the beginning of the video anyway i hope to see you guys in my next video i won't actually see you but like i hope that you do see it or you do watch it see you in my next video guys bye